Hey, what's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Long time no see. Yeah, it's been four months, guys. But I had, I had to come back on news today about a refresh model S and X. No, it's not out yet, but apparently it's finally coming this year. I do say finally because it was supposed to come in 2018, never came. Supposed to come in 2019, never came again. So this year amid a pandemic, it seems like Tesla may have finally figured things out with them rolling out production lines for new vehicles uh, at some of their factories. So I wanna jump into the latest Model S and X refresh news. If you're somebody interested in those cars, all I can tell you is just hopefully wait a little bit longer. Drop a like if you're excited, hit subscribe for more. Let's go ahead and jump in. Really up until this point, we've only known a couple of things about the next Model S and the Model X. One, that they're gonna have a crazy new plaid powertrain, likely with the triple motor setup. And two, what the interior looks like. Electric obtained these images about two, Two years ago now, we've been waiting on this refresh. I mean, I can't make it up. Like Tesla's done some minor increments in between, but the sales numbers just keep going down as everybody's like, they just don't seem in par with the Model 3 and the Model Y, which are less expensive vehicles. The 3 and the Y, they look really updated. They look fresh. They got a new design. The S and X are faster, but they don't look that way. This updated interior is supposed to be coming this year. You've got the really dope touchscreen controls. You've got the widescreen display. Can we get an amen for that? And of course, pretty much every part of the dash has been adjusted because you don't have like the traditional vents. It's going to be bringing the architecture from the 3 and the Y to the S and the X. To, to complete that sexy lineup of vehicles, which for me is great. I know there's probably some of you out there that are like, no, I really, I wanted my, my vertical screen. That's what I live by, I like the traditional vehicle design. But I would argue for a lot of new buyers like myself, who in a couple years will probably be upgrading to an S or an X, I, I really want something that feels a bit more fresh. The design to me right now feels stale. Today we got some new details that Tesla is rolling out production lines, or at least test assembly lines, I believe in Fremont, to actually upgrade the S and the X. That's right, like this year, finally we're gonna be seeing the update, and it's not gonna just be the interior. Like, if after all this time it was just the interior, uh, and even just plaid, I feel like we'd be a little bit disappointed, but it seems like Tesla's actually going a little bit further according to a new article from Electric. And this brings us to Tesla's newest secret project. We know they were working on Project Roadrunner for developing and manufacturing and building their own batteries in-house. Now we know about Project Palladium, which is essentially the design upgrades and physical upgrades for the Model S and X. So we know now that in addition to a significant drivetrain update, which this article reiterates, we will be seeing something significant, probably in efficiency and performance there because we are gonna have a triple motor with the plaid one. Uh, we're also gonna be seeing some battery updates, which is impressive to me considering that the Model S already goes 400 plus miles on a single charge. How Tesla's been able to do that, very impressive. And now it apparently is gonna be getting even better. And while that's kind of a surprise to me now, I mean, you have to realize the, the Cybertruck is said to have a 500 plus mile range. So it seems like this new drivetrain will be the basis for Tesla actually achieving those numbers. And you know, 600 on the Roadster, I think we're all kind of like, hmm. But apparently we're gonna be seeing some relatively significant body changes as well. And the only physical evidence we have of this, other than like the rumor from this article, is from the Nürburgring, Nürbur Nürbur I could, I, whatever, the racetrack where they go to test the fast cars. There's a lot of photos of a Model S driving there that really looks a lot sportier than before. Like it, it looks more on the supercar spectrum to me than the four-door sedan that Tesla's always sold the Model S as. I mean, you can see the body's lowered a little bit. That's probably just for the racetrack, but also wider. Uh, wider, there's a crazy spoiler on the back in some. I don't think that Tesla's actually gonna ship that in production, but certainly a slightly wider body and maybe some other stuff too. I mean, this is a prototype that was from months ago now. I know internally Tesla's obviously working on the design and this is only the S. I'm personally more excited to see some design changes to the Model X because I think that vehicle hasn't changed at all. You know, the Model S evolved from like the nose cone, looks a little bit more streamlined now that they got rid of it. The Model X, it, it's always looked the same since it was released. But when you look at the technology inside, I think a lot of people have a really hard time justifying that 70, 80K purchase when they get something that seems better at 30 or 40 or 50. And the good news is these are apparently gonna be ready by Battery Investor Day in September. Now, I think things are starting to make sense in my head because you know how we're supposed to have had this Battery Investor Day for a very long time and Tesla just keeps saying a little bit more time, just, just, 
please a little bit more time, guys. It's probably because not only did they want to unveil the Roadrunner secret project for making their own batteries, but also probably to say, hey, we've implemented some of that technology into the brand new Hey, Q Model S and X upgrades. And of course, they're not gonna call it an upgrade, but the new, um, I don't even know what the, how they describe it, just the new Model S and X, or the most updated, the, the freshest Model S and X. So by September, maybe even a little bit after that, we're probably gonna be finally hearing about these vehicles, and then we can finally be like, hey, it makes sense to upgrade, because I know a lot of people out there have been struggling. Do I buy now? Do I wait? I would say if you're looking to buy now in July, just wait a couple more months. I, I mean, I know if that was me, that's what I would do. I could just deal with my current car, EV or not, until then. But what are your guys' thoughts? I'm just uh, the, the Tesla and Apple YouTuber out here. That's what I do if you guys are always wondering. You're like, why does he upload so sporadically? My, my main channel is I update where I make tech vids. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like down below. Hit subscribe for more. I'll catch all of you in my next video.